Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I have an amazing model haul to show you guys. Not that you didn't see it already on the thumbnail, but we're going to look at them a little closer. So, I've got these, these came from two places eBay and Tony Lancer. My friend Tony Lancer. Tony is my hookup. Well, he was my hookup because the shop that he uh, was buying all these kits from, from uh, closed down on Saturday. As a matter of fact, if you watch that channel, Ride On Replicas, pretty sure that was it. Ride On Replicas, they do like, he builds kits and shows the build. That was the shop. But anyway, it closed down. Okay, so eBay. First thing, this is going to be quick because they're the same. I got two of these 56 T-Birds uh, by Monogram. A little bright. Um, I get on this whim of when like Rusty Rotor sent me the metal uh, T-Bird then I went and bought a second metal T-Bird and then I was like what the heck why don't I get me a couple more of these but anyway I got these these are these are cheap um, they're sealed they are uh, somewhere around 1982 well it's older than I thought okay 1982 monogram the boxes are like hard Anyway, there's two complete 56 T-Bird kits. I don't even think these have like decals or anything, so I wouldn't even, there's nothing really to worry about there. If they did, there were just a few little decals. But anyway, here are the 56 T-Birds by Monogram. Got two of those, 124 scale as well. All right, so Tony Lancer. Tony sends me pictures, or sent, would send me pictures. Again, this is a thing of the past now. He'd say, hey, you interested in these? And it, I'm a, I like the weird stuff. So here's one, and I've never had a Heller kit, and I'm going to have to open this one because the box, Tony didn't do this damage, but the um, apparently just from years of being on a shelf and having other stuff, uh, you can see it's pressed down pretty good bit. I hope the kit's okay, or if not, I want to refund Tony. I'm just joking. Um, Tony packs these things great, but a 124 scale Renault. Viva Stella PG7. Did I say that right? Viva Stella? Never had one of these. Never had a Heller. I was looking to see if it had maybe a date. I hadn't even. Oh, they're made in France. I had no idea. Made in Francais. Oh, didn't I just impress you guys? So, I will be getting the plastic off of this one pretty quick and uh, seeing if it has suffered any damage. You know what? You want to see me do it right now? Hold on. Because I don't want to wait. I want to know. You're going to open it. Yeah, because I plan on building this sucker. Okay, let's let's get, let's see if there's any damage. I know Tony's probably saying, oh no. It's okay, buddy. I appreciate you doing this for me. All right, so what's the fate of the Heller? Hope the windshield's not sticking straight up where it gets broke off. Oh no, good deal. That looks excellent. It's a little bright. So I don't see where it would be damaged at all. Man, that's a nice looking kit. I like it. No damage. Okay, cool. Moving on. That is one heavy duty darn box. Look at that. It's like folded over cardboard. Now the top's not heavy duty at all. It's pretty thin. Okay. Renault Viva Stella PG7. Cool looking car. I bet Charlie Mack would like to build that. But he said don't send him anything. Didn't have anywhere to put it. Um, here is a cool one. So do you guys remember back? Oh, let me grab it. I want to show. I want to. I want to show you. My friend George. Oh, my friend George sent me a a kit. And I did a uh, haul video a few hauls back, and it was this cool. And I had been wanting this kit, and I, I, I couldn't believe that it showed up. Um, George sent me this one. This is Fujimi. It's got this is a Fujimi with some age to it, and uh, awesome kit. But then Tony was showing me the uh, pictures of the available kits, and he showed me this one. I'm like, yeah, yeah, man, it looks good. I had no idea it was another one of those with the opening doors. And I've heard this is an awesome kit. 
Lamborghini Countach 5000 Quattro Valve. What is it? Quattro Valve, maybe? I can't read what the heck that says. Maybe four valves per cylinder, V12. But anyway, Fujimi. The only Fujimi kit that I've ever built wasn't actually a Fujimi. It was a tester's and it was that Porsche. But it actually was a Fujimi, just boxed by Porsche. But that, that kit that I just did, the uh, 85 911 Turbo, that was a Fujimi kit. They're cool. But anyway, this thing is like superb. I mean, like the box is perfect. Um, still in the wrapper. Cool beans. All right. Now these next two are like super cool. Um, look at this. And I got the guys. I got these. I looked at the prices on eBay for these suckers, and I was like, I got an absolute steal for what he got them for me. So accurate miniatures. McLaren M8B, the uh, 1969 Can-Am racer, Bruce McLaren and Denny Hulum, I guess were the drivers, or they were, they, okay, there's the five and the four, how do you tell? So I guess you could do it either, either one of them. But these accurate miniatures are super detailed kits, super detailed, look at this, that is too cool. I'm going to I'm I'm going to open these kits up. I mean, I know they're in the wrapper and everything. But that's I'm just I'm, I want to look at them. Yes, Matthew, break out of your shell. Open them all up. I hear you guys talking. But this is cool. And uh let's see if it's a date. 1998. Also, these were from the UK. Okay. I didn't know that. International Ho International Hobby Craft. Bristol, England. Cool. Got this one. So the 69 Can-Am Racer M8B McLaren. And then I also got the 71 Can-Am Racer. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce those two last names. But Oscar and Tony drove this one. Or these. I guess it may have been two, two different ones. But it's also the M8B. But this is the 71 edition. This is also from 1998. And look at that. Too cool. I also had Tony. So the only other exposure to accurate miniatures that I've ever had was from Tony, believe it or not. And I'll point it up here just for, oh, point it up here just for a second. This Corvette is up on its side. See the Corvette right there? Accurate miniatures. Guess where I got that from? Yeah, I got it from Tony. Got it from Tony. Came from this same hobby sh hobby shop. All right. So last, but definitely not least, by far not least, let me grab something else. By far not least is. Remember, George also sent me this Jaguar. It was a Gunzy or Guns. I'm not going to say it because I can't pronounce it. I know you guys try to help me with that stuff, but. It's not the not the easiest thing for me but he sent me this absolutely um phenomenal i hadn't built it yet but i'm just looking at it and i'm like oh man see all this stuff this is all metal all these parts here they're all metal the body's plastic um it's got plastic parts but the majority i mean this the engine's metal it's got tons of metal parts little cast metal parts i mean they look great anyway and photo etched stuff but George sent me this one. And so Tony was showing me pictures of, again, kits. Like, hey, you better hurry if you want to buy some of this stuff because he's closing down. And he showed me a picture of this. I was like, oh, man, that's the same kind of kit that George gave me. Then I went on eBay and started seeing, you know, I didn't want to overpay this guy what he was asking for it. Um, but I went on eBay and I saw that this this is like 150 maybe right around there because there's another one there's another there's a ferrari 250 gto but it doesn't have the engine it's a, it's a it's a curb side this one's got the metal 
V12. Oh boy, that's so awesome. And this is really the first time I've looked at it. I hadn't, and I want to open this thing up too. But anyway, yeah, these things are expensive, and I got it up. I can't believe the guy sold it as cheap as he did. It's in its wrapper. I mean, it is all there, and what a cool car too. But oh, dang, this is from no joke. This is from 1987. I would have thought that this was a brand new kit. I that that seriously, guys, this is. Is this really from 1987? Let me see this one more time. I think so. I thought this was brand new. It looks it looks brand spanking new. Yep, spanking new. Wow. Anyway, so these are both going to get built. These are like the stuff that you build for shows. I mean, the quality of these two kits, it's like show stuff. I mean, look at that. Look at that engine. Now, it, obviously, it's got to have some paint and stuff on it, but oh, see all these metal parts? See all that metal? I think all of that right there is metal. The, oh, the chassis, everything. And then you've got your plastic parts, which is your interior, your body. Yeah, there you go. Look at all that. That's all metal. And it's high quality stuff. It's not like um, old die cast stuff with a bunch of like metal flash on it. It's not that at all. But anyway, that's my haul. I'm excited, as you can tell. Very excited about getting uh, getting these open. I'm going to open these because these also, I failed to mention that a while ago, these also have quite a bit of box squashness see how far you can go down the boxes they've just been stacked and stacked and stacked for years so the top and bottom I think the box is is uh I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a box opening on these but anyway I'm not gonna do this on camera but anyway guys wow such cool kits such cool people in this community Tony you're awesome thanks for working with me doing that uh, now he didn't give them to me i bought these things but anyway he was my hookup too bad the hookup place is gone now that's unfortunate but it's good to know that my uh heller survived survived all the box smashing and uh, this kit looks absolutely brand spanking i ought to sell it that's what i ought to do because i could like make a lot more money than i paid for it but these two kits i hate it but i bet you the the decals i need to get these open to check the decals or the decals or the or uh, Kim uh, over at Kim's Custom Garage uh, decals Kim says decals Canadian people say decals I say decals but anyway you know what I'm saying these kit I hope there's no water damage it doesn't look like there's been any kind of water damage or anything like that but we'll get them opened up and check them out on a soon coming video but guys thank you for watching if you hadn't already subscribed please go down and hit that subscription button i appreciate where you've got me so far i'm over 10,000 subscribers and that is amazing and it's all because of you guys um thank you so much for your support don't forget as always go to hobby nut models it's linked right down there in the description of this video hobby nut models go click on that link and go check out mark's website and grab you a great kit, supplies, MCW paint, Tamiya paint. He's got whatever you need. He's got it. Go check him out. Also, Facebook group, Model Car Videos Facebook group. Link in the description below. Go click on it. And go join. Got a couple questions to ask. We, we ask you to answer, and uh, bam, you're in. So we uh, would love to invite you to come over there. Me, Troy Roberts, Chris Callen, um, and uh, actually Mark at Hobby Nuts, uh, an admin there, too. Um, go over there and check out the facebook group and as always teespring store or spring store and the patreon uh patreon guys thank you so much for all of your support i truly appreciate it all right guys i'm done with this video can't wait to check these out and we will see you on the next one take care bye